I quickly wanted to show you how to edit your form settings um, so that you can get notified via email. Uh, this is a question that a lot of customers ask if down the road they want to change the email um, that it gets notified when the form is submitted. To get there, you want to click on the form so it's outlined, then click on form settings. Now you're going to click on settings. Um, then under here you will see the email notifications. Click on that. And this is where you can put your email address to be notified every time the form is submitted. Also, keep in mind that if you have created a submissions table, uh, which this form does have, and that would appear here if you haven't, it would say create one. Um, but this is where you can view all the submissions um, from the form in addition to those email notifications. It's good to double check this just to make, every so often just to make sure that you haven't missed any um, submissions. Uh, one other thing to note, if you want to change or edit where this um, form is going to after it's been submitted, that's uh, here under Submit Message. By default, it shows a success message, which you can customize. But for SEO purposes, it's better to actually send them to a thank you page. That way, uh, Google kind of sees that it goes from that page to the next. So for tracking purposes and also just good bounce rates and stuff, it, it lowers your bounce rate because it moves the user to the next page, uh, which is also nice because you can customize a, a thank you page um, that you can put other information on and have other links to for more information. Um, to give your customer something else to do after they've submitted the form. You could also show a PDF or important information um, that you might have not shown the user until they've filled out the form. So um, this is where you would set that up. You would uh, choose a page to link to. Of course, you would need to create a page and have a page to link to first. Um, so that is all. I just wanted to mostly show you this because this is a common question. Um, where do I edit that email address? And this is where you would do it.